Have you ever wondered how ultrasonic sensors measure distance with such precision? In this video, we'll dive deep into how the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor works, its pinout, voltage requirements, and how it interacts with an Arduino to measure distance. So without wasting any time let's get started. Before we understand how the HCSR04 works, let's first understand ultrasound. Ultrasound refers to sound waves with frequencies higher than the human hearing range, typically above 20 kHz. The HCSR04 operates at 40 kHz, which is far beyond our hearing capability. These high-frequency waves travel through the air and reflect off objects, allowing us to measure distances based on the time it takes for the sound to return. The HCSR04 is a widely used ultrasonic distance sensor that operates using the principle of echolocation, similar to how bats navigate. The HCSR04 ultrasonic distance sensor consists of two ultrasonic transducers working together. One acts as a transmitter, changing electrical signals into 40 kHz ultrasonic sound pulses. The other works as a receiver, listening for these pulses after they bounce back from an object. It can detect objects between 2 cm and 400 cm away. Let's see the pin out of ultrasonic sensor. VCC, power supply, connected to 5 volts on the Arduino. Trig, trigger pin, used to send the ultrasonic pulse. Echo, echo pin, outputs the time it takes for the pulse to return. GND, ground, connected to the ground of the Arduino. It operates at 5 volts, consumes about 15 mA, and has a measuring range of 2 cm to 400 cm with an accuracy of about 3 mm. How does it work? HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor measures distance to objects using sound waves. Step 1. Triggering the sensor. The trig pin must be set high for 10 microseconds to send an ultrasonic pulse. When triggered, the sensor sends out an 8-cycle burst of ultrasonic sound waves at 40 kHz through the transmitter. These specific sound patterns help the receiver tell the difference between its own signals and the ambient ultrasonic noise in the environment. As soon as these sound waves are sent out, the echo pin goes high, and the sensor starts waiting for the echo to return. If the sound waves hit an object and bounce back to the sensor, the echo pin goes low as soon as it detects this returning echo. The time between the echo pin going high and then low creates a pulse. This pulse can last anywhere from 150 microseconds to 25 milliseconds, depending on how far away the object is. If the sound waves don't bounce back, the sensor will stop waiting after 38 milliseconds. This timeout tells you there's nothing within the sensor's detection range of about 13 feet. Calculating the distance, the width, duration, of the received pulse is what we use to figure out the distance to the object. We can calculate this using the distance speed time equation you might remember from science class. Say we have an object somewhere in front of the sensor, and we receive a pulse that lasts 500 microseconds on the echo pin. We know the time value is 500 microseconds, and the speed is the speed of sound which is 340 meters per second, which comes out to be 0.034 centimeters per microsecond. Now, let's put this value into the equation. The pulse duration represents the round trip time, the time it took for sound to travel to the object and back to the sensor. So to get the actual distance, we need to divide by 2. This means the object is 8.5 centimeters away from our sensor, Wiring an HCSR04 sensor to an Arduino. Here's a quick reference table for the pin connections. Here's a working example with Arduino if an object is placed.
limitations of ultrasonic sensor. The sensor has trouble measuring accurately when objects are more than 13 feet, 4 meters, away. Beyond this distance, readings become unreliable or the sensor might not detect anything at all. If an object's surface is tilted at a shallow angle to the sensor, the sound waves might bounce away in a different direction instead of returning to the sensor. Objects with soft or irregular surfaces, like stuffed animals or fabric, can absorb sound instead of reflecting it. This makes them difficult for the HCSR-04 to detect properly. So I hope you have learned something new today and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for more informative videos. Thanks for watching.